Hello everyone and welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, was it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's Echoes. When we last left off, we did things and stuff, and now we're gonna keep exploring. <laughs> You're very uh, elaborate with your descriptions there. I know, right? We grabbed a couple things, explored. Might have got a little lost. You can ignore him. It ain't worth fighting. Nope, you don't have space jump yet. So that's the safe Or maybe you do? I've got it tagged. So why is it tagged? That's weird training. That was opening for me. So I guess we're going this way. Okay, we do have bombs. Fed him. Bomb? A map! Very bright. Oh, try it. I'm supposed to use bombs. <laughs> <laughs> A little dumb. Just got used to scanning everything. Yay! Uh, is this our first map? Uh, I don't think so. So we've been there. That requires beam that we don't have. That's an elevator. There's a path that away. And that's definitely not a boss arena. That requires the ice beam. Well, I should try to go across to that, maybe. If this doesn't lead anywhere, so... Ah, okay, thanks. Now, can I go for the... ...this one? Ah, it was this way. Up and, uh... oh, oh. And you, you do need to blow. Yep. Hmm. 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 Aether's planetary supply reached a critical stage. If left unchecked, the energy would expire, bringing an end to the world. Our greatest minds devised a way to preserve and regulate the remaining planetary energy. The energy controllers. Hmm. They don't fall. It'll be a real pain in the ass have to get back up here. Can't get up. I like, can't get there anyway, but I I see some. Hey, there's something to your right. I have all these candlesticks. There's energy. Yes, and the little shits will knock you off, by the way. That is why I'm shooting them. What was that thing again? A warning. I find those things that when you want to shoot them, it's easier to just shoot in their flight path. Since they always fly in a fucking, uh, yeah. loop. Oh, well, we're here now. Right, so that was that other path which we can't really go to. We can go here, but... You have gone there. Yeah, we have gone in pretty much every other way, though. We could probably get here, maybe. You get off 
You can also run back to the uh, temple area and get a few missiles. Uh, is that the elevator? Is yeah. Which is just me recommending you do that. Because <laughs> there are two uh, there are two missile pickups that you can grab. We'll go through the temple area later anyway, right? I mean, you come to you come back to it every now and then. Yeah, we can grab them at that point. What's you that thing already... there? Uh, that's a morph ball cannon. Okay. You've already grabbed the item in the hall here. Mm. Imagine if you also had to find a new ball. Isn't that a bad super metro? That's fine. <laughs> But it is quite nice to have hit. access to spring on this. Oh, right. Uh, I need to tag that translator. Oh, I'll let you try to figure it out for a while. Dang. That is not something I can interact with. That is a later problem. Mm. Drown in the sand. What if I want to drown in the sand? I hate sand. It's coarse and rough. I think it's everywhere. Full, Full disclaimer you do not break that. So you can't hurt it. that big old room over there with the P on it. Oh, what does P mean anyway? Go figure it out. I know, so it's the other way. <laughs> it's through the lower doorway. So get this up. Yeah, you're gonna need it. I 
pirates are annoying. They're about to get a lot more. Yeah, particularly annoying. But now they are. Enhance strength and stamina gain for additional stamina. Dislikes bright light. Now they're tougher and shoot faster. So it's Anyway, that's a guy you need that energy. <laughs> uh, yeah, scan that right there. I get this in a state of dimensional flux. I'm able to completely scan bomb slot here. Hmm. Guessing any piece in order to open time. So as you can well imagine, this means that you're gonna have to go, uh, do something in one world to change something in another world. Mm -hmm. Caloric alloy. In other words, bomb. I see. I don't think I can reach it from here. But you did activate a bomb slot over by the the uh, matrix. Well, also so I think the, yeah, that. Recording to the logbook. The light of aether. Hmm. The main energy controller was built in the great temple. Three sub controllers were built in the temples of Torvus, Agon, and Sanctuary. They collected the energy of aether, then radiated it over the world to all who needed it. In time, we came to call this precious energy the Light of Aether. It brought an age of peace and prosperity to the Luminoth. Yay! And then it ended. Yep. When a funny rock with funny blue stuff in it fell from the sky. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the thing with Golden Ages. They have to end eventually. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so when the uh, rock with space cancer fell from the sky. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they end a bit more forcefully than others. Already applying. Gee, I wonder how to open it. I mean, how would it? How would it? I see. Well, that's a new one. What? Elevators? Yeah. Did you say so? I mean, don't think we had to save the first game. Mm, might have had one or two that were timed. Oh, I feel. Hey, watch out for the fall. May as well shoot down those wasps while you're down here. It is coming. It is coming. They don't appreciate you fucking with their, uh, nest. Oh, that could be a The transformation does seem a bit faster than the first game. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, there's a thing in there. So there it is. Oh well. Yeah, let's just go past them. Wait, literally, what is the sense of this? Mm -hmm. Solar Dynamo. Even the elevator gets scared. <laughs> Come by your system. Mm. It's an elevator. Yeah. No, the weather hates you. I see. Oh, that's gonna be okay. First of all, I'm gonna lower the game's volume a little bit because when cutscenes happen, the game's a bit louder than. <laughs> than my voice and stuff. Dark Aether's, Dark Aether's atmosphere is dangerous. No shit! <laughs> the safe zones will protect you. Scan that thing. Plate ball. It's a crate. I see that. Also, you may notice your health is regenerating. And the sky is purple. Mm -hmm. You're going to need that health regen, by the way. Wait. That just opens the portal back. It doesn't pass the through, right? No. You have to run through. So, uh... Grit your teeth. And run. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, did you see how fast it was draining your health? I mean, for the distance required, it's not that bad. Yeah. For now now. do a boss fight. Now do a boss fight in it. <laughs> Luminous light crystal. Yeah, it is protective field of light energy. Can be nullified by dark energy. And supercharged by light. I see. Warning. They will sling dark at those crystals. Well, some of them will. You do not have a light weapon. I see. That's See that? Thing. It's a light beacon. Shoot it. Creates a light uh, a light field. It's For a short time. You can shoot it, the little, little beacon, to uh, extend its duration. Basically to refresh it. I see. There's that bomb slot. Mm-hmm. Well, may as well. Yep. 
Tum, 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 tum. And now both sides are open. Mm hmm. Transdimensional activity detected. No shit, shit. Have fun. Question is whether I should continue this way or go. Back. I don't think you can jump up that way. What about this way? Yeah, you can go that way. It's gonna suck. Like, it literally drains 10 energy in, in like a second. Hey, you might want to scan the thingy you don't know what it is. You know, when they hold still. Okay. Inkling. Worker drone of the ink horde. Morphing bioform. Strongly dislikes bright light. Yeah, if you somehow can lure an ink creature into like one of these. The... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks, doesn't it? I would actually recommend jumping into the uh, static one. Yeah, yeah if you can like somehow, you can, like somehow drag one of those into one of the static fields while it's supercharged, it kills it instantly. Hmm. The trick is a supercharging it and b tricking them to come in, to come in after you. Yeah. Yeah, with those temporary ones, if you listen closely, you can hear a faint beeping or ticking noise that basically acts as the timer. I see. A bit difficult to hear that when you're in combat, though. Mm hmm. Uh... Which is why, when you can, you should probably avoid it. By the way, you missed one. So I see. Save station. Yay! You should probably scan those. Grab my mind. Night bar. Flying airborne hunters. Small but travel in large numbers for safety. Avoid contact. Yeah, when you see a swarm of those heading for you, you know you're about to get hurt bad. I should probably save. Yes, you should. Dark Aether is highly unforgiving. Understandable. Mm -hmm. Alright, press on. this room? Yes, many of the rooms will be mirrors or uh, modified copies of other rooms. I see. Is that a moving bubble? Yep. You scanned an ink warrior? I have now. Warrior ring. The soldiers of the ink world. Shape-shifting, Shape walk around there, oh. dangerous combat and the melee under the range. He slides right there. So yeah, have fun with these guys. Okay. You think they're done? No. They get particularly annoying when there's like two or three of them at a time, and it's just like, uh, you are a yeah. can. <laughs> the next would be, I guess that's supposed to be another portal, no, like I can reach it from here. Mm-hmm. That's a dark door, so... You need whatever corresponds with the black doors. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna need to follow a uh, glowy boy. Yep. He's scannable, by the way. Of course he is. You're also dying. Let's bring it. Light generating for a 
future candidates safe zone while leaving. Immune to most forms of attack. Most you say. Basically, you can't accidentally kill him. It's if you do, can. I'll be impressed. Well, if you do what? But if you do, I'll be impressed. Hmm. Hey, look at that. A light portal. Yeah, no, like we can go through it. Yeah, but it gives you an idea of how you're supposed to get over there on the other side, huh? Uh-huh. On the other side of this. For now, I guess we go across. Mm-hmm. Hey, look! Friend! Friend! <laughs> I laugh because it happened to me too. Yeah. Pro tip jump over the little buddy. Also, pro tip don't be afraid to stand in a safe zone for a little while. It's fine. It's fine until I don't tell you you're about to walk into a boss fight. <laughs> And then suddenly you're walking into a boss fight with half an energy tank and you were just falling right through it. You're not wrong. Friend. 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 Oh, he is in this way. Yeah. He is friend shaped. Mm -hmm. But he's also. However, he tries his best. Yay! Hey, don't stand in the pain. Are you a masochist and just haven't told me? No. I will tell you if I was. Hmm. I think I'm better off with you not being one. Probably for the best. <laughs> I so this go. is just a tiny safe spot. Yeah, they they exist. They exist for your benefit. Because of sections like that. Tiny spider ball, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Have I finally got that in my own game? I don't think so. Sounds like you should. I'll get to it later. Okay, that's the plasma door and a, a super missile door. Correct, actually. That is the super missile door, the green one. Yay, I got it right. Alright, have some fun. <coughs> he can jump. So I see. Is this one I need to scan as well? Yep. But this is double jump, isn't it? No shit. Space jump powered in Warrior. I see. Able to generate shock waves and, as you can notice, knock your ass back. Wait, so. Oh, that room is the one with the uh, other kind of pain. Okay. Get back here. Having health regen down here is so nice. I actually find that either quite relaxing. For now at least. Is it for now? Say that again once you're doing a two or three, two to three phase boss fight against the boss who will shut off the crystals. Suddenly, he's a lot more cancer. <laughs> or just, you know, fighting your doppelganger.
Full disclosure though, I agree with a lot of what a lot of players say. Fighting your doppelganger is fun. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. But uh, at the very least, uh, it can be a little frustrating. This guy really likes to jump or something. I wonder why. It's almost like that's his power. <laughs> well, no, How's it's my power, thing? but that's a size different. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say he's got stall work. <laughs> he better not. <laughs> I don't know how no one done that last year. <laughs> Remember, grab all the goodies first. Mm -hmm. you no, know, mostly for your missiles, but that's beside the point. Yeah, I did use quite a few of them. Alright, space jump, kid. Can we double jump? This is space jump. They call it space jump, even if you refuse. Double jump boots acquired. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you need to. Um. Not that. What? Oh, right, you need the uh, temple keys for that. For that, you're gonna need the other beams. Right, uh, there's actually nothing else you can do here. There's what? There's nothing else to do here. Time to head back, then, I suppose. Mm hmm. Um, on the south side of the room, there's a way out. It goes pretty much right back to the uh, teleporter. Well, you know what I mean. Watch out for that thing. Blast it. Ah. They, they kind of tanky. I see that. So this leads... Yep, right back right. around. Run like hell? Hey, there's a ledge there. I noticed. The Dark Ether was successful. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a... It only cost you probably about an energy tank and a half. <laughs> the deepest, deepest. Of environmental damage alone. <laughs> the game is telling you that that is open now, in case you couldn't see. By the way, pirates. Pew pew! Hey, you have zero energy. <laughs> That's funny. Aw, they, they ruined it. He wants to melee you. Okay. Hey, you have zero energy again. <laughs> So now we can go away to the portal, I guess. Yeah, about that. Uh, I see. We've you already know. Maybe in this game I will be slightly less horrible at it. Actually, I don't even remember. Remember if that's all you need for it. Yeah, I certainly know I need Gusol for it. Missiles! Missiles! Fucking need those. Yep. Okay. Now. Now we're at a safe point. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, you oh. can't stay or fall. I noticed, but I wanted to check. Had a try? Yep, very important. Free healing. <laughs> Now we can make it up there. Where the heck is... Oh, that's all the way over there. That was a pretty early though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's because you need it. I noticed. Like, there were quite a few signs of requiring that we do all over the place. I wanted the wrong place, didn't I? Kind of. Right, it was the other big room I needed to go to. to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, way over there. No, not that one. That one. To the right. One? That one. Okay. You need other beams to get anything out of that big room. So, this away. It is quite nice to have double jump early. Mm -hmm. It's about like having super missile early. <laughs> Not even worth the time. Just move on. Yeah. Don't sweat them. Boing. 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 Lore! The stellar object. Oh my. By the time we detected the stellar object as it streaked toward our world, it was too late to stop it. We fired numerous weapons at it in a vain attempt to alter its trajectory. Nothing worked. Our efforts placed a great strain on the energy and controllers and weakened Aether. All we could do as the object drew closer was take shelter and wait. We gathered stores of food and water, reinforced the shielding on our dwellings, and spent the last hours in peace. Oof. Yep. Yay! We got that thing. Alright, now just head back down. Yep. Go through the door. I can't believe those. Yeah, I can't believe you missed a prime opportunity to just blow them up with the phase on. Nothing here. There's nothing you can get. Yeah. This is on fire. Yeah. Oh. Who's interrupting my scanning now? Pirates! Yeah, you're not scanning. I try. Are you really just gonna scan while they're shooting at you? Yes. They are not at the...
Every time is such a relaxing game. <laughs> It is until it isn't, and then you're scrambling to get something done. <laughs> I say it too. <laughs> Space pirate defense shield. Okay. Now, in case it wasn't obvious, you're heading into space pirate uh, territory. Nah. You know what space pirates are known for having with them, right? Really? Actually, no. Not this time. I mean, they are known for it. <laughs> yes, but not today. <laughs> Taloric alloy. Oh, they're just following you. Something's down there. You mean up there? Now, tell me, how well do you think they're gonna fare? No. <laughs> hey, head back. Hmm? Head back. Uh, yeah. No. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Oh. Yeah, it took me way too long to find this. Missiles. Like I spent a good ten minutes looking through this room <laughs> and had to look it up. Oof. Hey, watch out for that. Once you know you're looking for something, it's quite difficult to see. Yeah, except for I didn't think to get back down in the trench. Oh, look, more dead people. We locked the door. Okay. Is that lore? Space fighter. Space on Phase on. Chunks. Oh boy. Science teams detected the presence of Phazon in the Dasha system for four cycles ago. High Command authorized the deployment of our team shortly thereafter. Our orders are to establish a base on planet Aether and evaluate local Phazon resources because this world lies on the periphery of galactic. Federation territory, we are following stealth protocols at the highest level. A cadre of elite commandos has been dispatched to provide security for, for our force as well. This operation is now underway. Hmm. I'm sure. Phase on extraction raids are underway on Dark Aether. The toxicity of the atmosphere has taken a toll on our workforce, as have the hostile natives of that world. Science team is preparing survival gear to protect our work teams, and we have increased our security presence in extraction areas. Fortunately, High Command is sending more troops and supplies. Our troops and resources are spread dangerously thin, and this mission cannot fail. Seriously, I love how the space pirates act more like a uh, full military. Yeah. Is, is that just a derog derogatory term for an enemy alien faction or something? I I think it's just a holdover from the first Metroid game when they were called pirates. Yeah, I guess so. The order to mass breed Metroids is insane. We have no space to store them. Perhaps when Command is sharing a bunk with hungry Metroid infants, they will rethink this unwise order. Oh no, not that game. Recording to Oh come on. I, I warned you in a, you know, very oblique way. <laughs> like, uh, when I say, what do Metro, what did they normally come with? Ridley is a correct answer, but it wasn't a correct answer today. Answer was Metroids. Yep. 
Technician yeah. 12 released after yeah. showing symptoms. Hmm? And it wasn't saying not that game of their being, but just that's kind of expected more of the their breathing them again. Yeah. Because they didn't learn the first time. And the second time, and the third time, and the fourth time, and the fifth time, and yeah. Yeah. Showing symptoms of Phazon fever, and where he claimed a Phazon as his own, and held us at gunpoint until security arrived. Sentry report. I grow weary of standing watch on a wasteland. The accursed marines are weak and vulnerable. Why do we not attack? They owe us a fate debt for the attack on our supply ship. Instead of settling accounts, we sit around in this sand pit like a group of timid old spinsters. It is time for action. <laughs> That's so... Dark Aether transit complete. Radiation levels within tolerance. Dark cannon operating at full power. No signs of instability detected. Oh, no. Cooldown cycle underway. And that's that's just what they call their portal generator up there. Uh, this thing. Well, no, that's the portal. That little narrow thing above it is the cannon. <laughs> rift portal the rift portal has been opened the artifact weapon dubbed the dark beam by science team provides the energy needed to open the portal although for a limited time we've sent expeditions through the portal and they have returned with incredible news the portal leads to a parallel version of dark of aether this dark aether has suffered a global calamity, turning it into a toxic wasteland. It is the homeworld of the shadowy creatures who have been raiding our base for the last cycle. Most importantly, it is the prime location of Phazon in this sector. Extraction plans are being prepared. We will not be denied. They never learn. That's the only thing oh, no. that really makes them pirates. <laughs> they found space cancer. They want to weaponize it. Conflict. Intelligence reports on the indigenous population of Aether Sorry. <laughs> are in error. This planet is not at peace, nor are the inhabitants docile. Evidence of a class 4 conflict is present here, though hostilities are at a minimal level now. Our territory has suffered mo several raids by a strange type of shadowy creature. These raids have caused considerable damage, and we've requested more combat troops in response. Rachel, how did that go for you? <laughs> You're seeing it. <laughs> Discoveries. A spatial anomaly has been found within our base. We believe this rift in space-time leads to a parallel dimension of some type, but have been unable to interact with it thus far. A strange artifact was found near the anomaly as well. It may be a weapon or generator of some kind. Perhaps it is the key to accessing the anomaly. High Command is eager for reports on this relic. A new weapon for our arsenal is always welcome. Very Amazing what they just find lying around. <laughs> so find the very gun. Got it. Aether. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much have been you already. Casualty report. 422 reports. Ca uh, mining extension 422 reports 3 dead, 2 injured, 1 missing in action. Captured bioform transfer to science team for study. That went so well for them. Well, it's scanning up there where I'm not the end, supposed to be. Yet. Planetary energy is at critical, creating violent climate changes and tectonic shifts. Unless these conditions can be reversed, global destruction is inevitable. By the way, you know you missed like three down there. Dark Hunter analysis. 
Oh, no. Scans of the Dark Hunter have revealed she grows stronger as she consumes Phazon, already a class platinum AAA threat level. We shudder to think of her power level as she continues to as she consumes our entire Phazon supply. It's because you're reading them out of order, you're not getting to one first where they say, "Oh God, there's two of them." <laughs> <laughs> Until we recover more Phazon, we rely on Metroids for power. Command has authorized mass breeding of Metroids for this purpose. Yeah, I don't feel like that's going too well. Me neither. Security report. The marine vessel has been under attack by indigenous predators for several days. Casualties are high. The marine forces forces near elimination. I noticed. There was barely anyone around. They were dead. Commando Unit 87 has failed to report. Unit was dispatched to recon the swamps, a potential site for a new base. Unit 98 sent to investigate. That is an elevator. I see. Yeah, just making sure you know. Not missing any more, am I? No, I don't think so. Alright. Elevator's on. Scan. Security alert all units to battle stations. The Dark Hunter has breached a Metroid production facility. Protect the phase on supply at all costs. Death to the Dark Hunter. Glory to the Space Pirates. They even call themselves Space Pirates. Gotta love it. <laughs> Yeah, it is quite hilarious. Oh, hello, you. You're just chilling there the whole time. Yep. You're not getting to that. I know. Datanet has been compromised. The hunter has hacked our data net. All of our secrets are now hers. She could not be allowed to escape. Terminate her on Like, y'all don't already terminate on site. <laughs> yeah, like, isn't that usually the plan? Phase on supply at site 1 is diminishing. Sites 2 and 3 are supply rated above 90%. Site 4 remains a problem due to high presence of hostile bioforms. That's a door, in case you didn't know. Nope. Aww. You tried. I did. It looked possible, but oh well. Um, become a being a pure phase on protocol three in effect until further notice exercise extreme caution when dealing with the birthing or storage of newborns remember infant metroids are not pets federation at Another disaster. The transport bringing our reinforcements and supplies has been shot down. It was engaged in orbit by a Federation vessel, which has landed near the alien temple. It's only a matter of time before the Marines attack. Survivors from our ship have made their way to our base. Here we shall make our stand. Another enemy. First the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter, and now the Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Perhaps fate will smile on us before the world itself opens its maw and swallows us. Oof. Yeah, no. Not likely.
Yeah, you, uh, just, yeah, yeah, just follow the cue. Congratulations, you just jammed it into the open position. Probably for the best. Maybe. Pew. Mm, it just means I don't have to scan it every time. Hmm. Now what's that? Let me select me, why not it? Uh, yeah. Don't remember. <laughs> Listen, me no brain good. Do you know where you're going? Take me a moment. Hey, those are turrets. Humility class turret. What a name. <laughs> what a joke. So anyway. Have fun with the freaking laser beams. Just go right through them. Let's make it easier, too. Hey, guess where you are? <sighs> Up in the Metroid storage. I noticed. <laughs> Metroid subject has several blast wounds from space pirate weaponry on low power settings. They wanted it alive after they were finished with it. Nice. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. Not many of these things are actually going to come out at you. Hmm. Some of them are. I don't remember. <laughs> the okay. Hunter. Okay. Samus Aaron, the cursed hunter, has arrived. The sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. She does not seek our destruction, but our Phazon. With each raid, she steals Phazon ore, only hit killing those who attempt to deny her. What she needs it for, we do not know. The science team suspects she requires it to power her new armor suit. Dark in color and equipped with strange new weapons, the troops now call her the Dark Hunter. It is a fitting title. I guess the logs are out of order when you find them. Hmm. Hmm. I seem to remember. I'm, I'm misremembering shit. I guess. Well done. Oh well. But that one's still closed. Hey you. Can you scan? Keeping in a constant Dude. state of agitation. Poor thing. <laughs> Evidence of symbiotic bonding present in subject system. Subject is barely alive and is periodically leached of its bioenergy by Metroids. Oof. Gotta eat somehow. Yeah. Hello, Metroid. Energy craving parasite. Taken from planet Talon 4. You know, where we were last game. Yeah. Target leeches bioenergy from its victims. Shunned by con stunned by concussive blasts, vulnerable to dark energy. Hmm. Well, that's nice to know. Metroid handling protocols. Metroids are not pets. Metroids are not for target practice. Finally, unauthorized feeding of Metroids is still strictly prohibited. If there's a rule for it. Something happened. Suffering from food poisoning. 
It has ingested several pet treats and space pirate <laughs> rations. These do not agree with its digestive system. So yes. They have done literally everything that they were told not to do. There's been energy drained repeatedly over the last three cycles. Cellular structure has become unstable as a result. Look, they're hungry. What do you want from them? <laughs> Heavily scarred. Wounds appear to be from repeated contact with containment field. Most likely received while attempting to escape. I see. So I guess we just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, hello there. He didn't hurt there. It was a torrete. Uh, ooh. There's something vital in this next room. Security barrier, huh? Is it not to be able? No, it's just a, it's just a roundabout. I see. No. <laughs> no. Discipline report. Units 13 and 43 have been placed on low rations after being caught configuring the power storage racks for amusement purposes. Agility training is to occur only in sanctioned training areas. Hmm. There's a lot. Oh. Remember these guys? Yeah. Jump troopers. They function pretty much the exact same as before. Oh, no, they miss having supers. Oh, well. Just maybe. So you're gonna to wanna to get up there. Okay. No. Training report. Science team believes the Metroids can be trained. After several cycles of trying, I believe science team has a vapor for brains. <laughs> I've lost two assistants to the wretched little things. <laughs> vapor for brains. Uh, move. That's an E tank. Move this rack all the way up. This rack? Yeah. Mm. Ah, you need to react to this first. Well, in the meanwhile... No. Security report. The Dark Hunter was spotted near the Metroid tanks. She attempted to breach the containment racks without success and escaped. Perhaps she is behind the recent Metroid theft. Theft report. Three Metroids have been stolen. All on-duty units have been questioned. Whereabouts of Metroids unknown. Doubling security in Metroid areas until further notice. I guess I got those in the wrong order. Yes, I am going to scan every single button before they're even online. Why? Because it's not glowing green. Metroid Unit 318 was put down today after a failed domestication session. Metroid Unit refused commands and terminated one of its handlers before it was subdued. Big surprise there. I know, right? check for upper ones. Injury report. Unit 686 released a Metroid for target practice today. The Metroid didn't assault at 686. He should be regaining brain functions in a cycle. Dumbass. Can't do anything with that, so... Look, more scannables. Yay! Maintenance report. Energy containment field generators have failed three times. I fear for our safety, we're out of spare parts. One more failure, and we're finished. 
Don't worry about it. Production report. Metroids. Mass breeding of Metroids underway. We will meet command's quota within a cycle. Storage remains an issue. Recommend expansion of existing facility before a critical Metroid level is reached. Mm -hmm. I still don't even know how Metroids are supposed to reproduce. They have no discernible gender, in, except for the ones on a SR388. Hmm. Sort of. Oh, you switched the power back on. Yay. Well, what have you been recording now? We'll probably <laughs> find a safe point next chance we get. Um, there's one in the next chamber. But first, you have an E tank to get. What are you doing? <coughs> so, take a look at that rack and see I what see. it needs to do. It just needs to be high enough for you to get up on the ledge. Mm-hmm. Ah! Mm -hmm. Your need to scan it all drives me insane. Well, I am sorry. Like, more than I already was. Boing. boing, boing, mod the game to have a boing sound whenever you double jump. <laughs> well, I've got this piece now. Yeah, you'll need it. Yeah, probably. Now just reverse. That one can just stay where it is. Drop him. There we go. Game, figure it out. Hmm? I was like, yes, game, we can figure it out. Yeah. It does appear to like holding your hand quite a bit. Oh boy. Yep. Yeah, you may be. <laughs> I feel like that probably stung a little bit. Yeah, only a little bit. Now we don't have to go through that again. Okay, okay. Yeah, I told you, in the next room. Now we just have to get... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Lore! Security breach. They've had about a few of those. Hmm. The Dark Hunter teleports in toward the base at will. Our security has proven next to useless against her. Our latest raid was disastrous. Not only did we lose more phase on to her, but she also crippled the stealth field generator with her strange new weapons. We are exposed. With until the replacement generator arrives, we will be vulnerable to scans and detection. Our presence here is still minimal. Should the Federation find us, we will be able to defend our position. We will be unable to defend our position. Fortunately, Aether is on the fringe of Federation space. With luck, we will have a stealth field back in effect before being detected. I don't think that works very well. Didn't quite work, but it didn't really matter. Yep. Oh well. I hope you all have fun. And we'll see you next time where we'll 
I'm guess I guess we're gonna go get the dark beam later or something. Perhaps. Bye bye.